Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Bianca. Today I have three Dollar Tree DIYs for you guys. For the first DIY, I'm going to be using these three Dollar Tree books. These originally had paperback covers on them, but I already removed them. With that, I'm also using this craft fabric that the Dollar Tree has, which I had no idea they had, by the way. To get started, I'm going to go ahead and remove this label. So I wanted to create some farmhouse vintage type books. But I wanted to go a different route rather than stacking three books together and writing some words on the side like you normally see. I wanted to add some fabric to it. What I'm going to do is cut out a piece of fabric to cover the outside of the book. Now this part is up to you if you want to cover the whole outside of the book. I'm going to be creating some stripes on here like you see on the farmhouse grain sack fabrics. And I'm going to be using some tape to help me out with those stripes. Now it's up to you on how dark or light you want to make them. I decided to go with two light stripes of that red color. And I'm just taking this apple barrel paint and using a sponge brush. Now you can probably see my hands are a little bit dirty with the black paint. And that's because before making this one, I made a black striped one. It also would probably be better to iron the fabric first, but I didn't do that. So now I'm just going to apply the second stripe and it's really very easy to do. Painting fabric is actually way easier than what I thought. Now I'm going to center the fabric onto the book and I'm just going to add hot glue. Originally, I was going to hem the side a little bit by just folding it and then hot gluing it down. But I kind of like the frayed fabric at the end, so that's why I just left it that way. Also, I didn't show this, but I added a piece of poster board paper where the stripes are at. Because on the book, there's wording right there and I wanted to hide it, so I just added a piece of paper to that. And then I just cut off the extra fabric. Now what I'm going to do is take these Dollar Tree buttons. And they actually had this in the front of the store when I went to check out. And they have just a bunch of different type of buttons in there. So I tried to get two of the same buttons. They are all kind of like old looking. So that's what I really liked about it. And plus it was only $1 for so many. So for the finishing touches... I'm just going to add two buttons to the sides. At the last minute, I decided to add some twine to the side as I was setting it up to decorate it and take pictures. And also, I made three books, but the black striped one is not pictured right here. I actually thought I was going to be stacking three, but it looked better with two just because these books were bigger. For the second DIY, I'm going to be making this farmhouse banner. What I wanted to do was put this print out in my Etsy shop for free. That way I can get you guys over there and follow me because I just opened it. If you watched my last video, I invited you all to go over there and follow me. But I didn't know this, you cannot put free items on Etsy. So what I did was put the links to this banner that I created myself in the description box. So if you guys want to print that out for free, you can. Now that everything is cut out, I'm going to be using my hole puncher and I'm doing that of course to hang it up and I'm just going to be using some Dollar Tree twine for that. I'm going to start adding the letters to the jute twine and I'm just making sure I put the twine behind the letter if that makes sense. I don't want the jute twine to lay on top of the letter as I add it through the holes. So first, I'm just going to put farm and then I'm going to be creating these little rustic twine tassels to the sides before I add those two floral banner pieces. So to create the two tassels, what I'm going to do is just take the twine around my hand and I'm going to go around 20 times and then I'm going to cut it. So I just take it off of my hand, cut the bottom of it, and then I'm going to create a knot at the top of it around the jute twine right next to the F and the M. 
Now it's up to you if you want to add more of these little tassels or if you don't want to add any at all. I just thought it would be cute to add two of them. Now I'm just trying to straighten it out on there. Now what I did think was maybe it would have been better if I would have wrapped it maybe 40 times. It would have been more full. But like I said, it's up to you. And then I just cut off the end to make the bottom even. And also if you need to, you can trim a little bit of the top. So I ended up hanging it up right here above my console table. I might move it. I just thought I'd put it right here to show you how it looked. I might put it where my fireplace is at because I think it might look a little bit better right there. But I really like the way this came out and it was super easy to make. I hope you enjoyed this second DIY. Now let's move on to the third. For the third and final DIY, I'm going to be making a home sweet home farmhouse sign out of this Dollar Tree sign. So of course I'm going to turn it around, take off this twine and stickers to get started. And I know I've heard a lot of people tell me you can take a blow dryer to the sticker and remove it, but I didn't do that. I just removed what I could and then sanded it down a little bit and it was flat. So then I'm taking this lightweight spackle from Dollar Tree and mixing it up so I can cover those holes and let it dry for about 20 to 30 minutes is what it says on the back. If you do buy this just make sure you mix it really well before applying it and trust me it's worth it. It's kind of satisfying to mix it. It's really soft kind of like clay and it dries into sort of like a cement. Once it dries, if you have to sand down any lumps, you can do that. So now what I'm going to do is just cover the whole thing with my linen white chalk paint and give this thing a good two coats. So now that the two coats have dried, I'm going to be outlining the whole sign with my jet black apple barrel paint. And what I'm doing is using these two sticky rulers that I have been using for the past few DIYs. If you've been watching, if you are new here, I actually got them from the Dollar Tree. The Dollar Tree carries a two pack of wooden rulers and there are centimeters and inches applied like this and I just removed them and then I kept them for things like this. So what I'm doing is just measuring about three quarters of an inch on each side and I did notice that the left one I did kind of mess up. It's a little bit thicker than what I wanted. But that's okay, you can't really tell. Now I did have a little bit of bleed through only because I added so much black paint to the little sponge brush. And I know better but sometimes I get a little bit impatient and that's what happens. If you don't want bleed through, you want to have perfect lines, don't add so much paint to the brush. While the sign is drying, I'm going to be adding home sweet home like I said with these Dollar Tree wooden letters. But what I'm doing is for the sweet part of the word, I'm going to be stenciling that in. Alright, so once the black outline is dry, I go ahead and start arranging the home sweet home part of the sign. Then I'm going to be gluing the letters down with my hot glue gun. And I really think the black outline just makes this sign. I really love that. And then you'll see me wipe some of the hot glue onto the paper just because I added a little bit too much. Then I just start stenciling the sweet part of the word and I actually use these stencils a lot. It's my favorite font right now and I'm just taking this stencil sponge brush and the only reason why I'm using this one instead of my Martha Stewart ones is because this one was already out. And then I apply tape all around it just so I don't get too much paint everywhere else. To finish up this sign, I'm just going to be adding a small wreath. And what I did was just take a lid and drew a circle out of it and then just start gluing down this greenery that I had. Mm -hmm. 
So such a simple sign to make. I really like the way that one came out just because I really enjoyed the black accents and farmhouse decor. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to go and follow me on Instagram and also in my new Etsy shop. I'm going to start coming up with some stuff to make and put on there, especially for the holidays. Have a great weekend and I'll see you guys in the next video.